Boz programmed the CrossFit Games this year, and in my eyes, and frankly, people on my team will tell you this, when the change was made at the beginning of the season, um, there were lots of people that I talked to right away that I said immediately, there is no one but Boz that can do this job. When you're the lead programmer for the CrossFit Games, in essence, you become a coach to the fittest people in the world because you're setting the standard that they need to be prepared for and you're showing them what's going to be expected. I never doubted that I was qualified to do it. I don't think anybody else is more qualified. I put my CrossFit resume up against anybody. First thing we're gonna look at is that static position. So what does that mean? So now she's moving, she's got the swing going on and it all leads back to why full range of motion because we can better support both sides of the joint, right? Worked for the seminar team, I've helped to develop the instructional materials that we have, I've developed our staff, I've flown all over the world, I've coached at affiliates, I've been coached at affiliates. Hey judges, everybody start standing until go. You know, I've been part of the game since the second year in 2008, so this, this is my 15th season. So we're in the Coliseum, it's Monday afternoon. We did a full rehearsal in Columbus with all the workouts, with all the head judges and a fresh demo team. Here we're retesting a lot of those to make sure the time cap and stimulus is right now that we've arrived on campus. Shoulder stand is not really that hard to get into. Right. And you can press out yeah. that way. All these guys are gonna be so confident with the barbell, but so they're so used to like, oh, I'm just gonna pace and do all my stuff the way that I wanna do it. You don't have time to pace the bar on this if you wanna have enough time to finish on the hip. So you have to rip on this lightweight for those uh, top athletes. You know, for the top athletes, they're gonna look at this and say 135, really? Okay, cool, go fast, because you're gonna need it over here. Good, let's go, let's go. Minute to finish, minute to finish. Boz has such an individual and unique kind of physical training background. You know, having been trained as a circus performer <laughs> for years in San Francisco, and the unique twist that I think that gives him when he sort of sees these things. I'm excited to see how these guys pick up the jump rope skills. I think this is one of those classic things if you've been around CrossFit for a long time. And the adaptability, most of these athletes have not trained for it that are on the demo team. And so seeing how quickly they pick it up and then comparing that to how the game's athletes do. So Boss is doing it right now. Seeing the athletes go through it and hearing their feedback that, that's when it was real, and that's where, where I thought, okay, I think we have something here. The athletes were great. I mean, they, they had so much feedback, and I told them, I said, hey, you, you guys have to tell me if it sucks. Like, it can't suck, it's gotta be great. And if you're not hyped on what you're doing here, let me know so that we can make it better.